People had lined up outside the court before sunrise to witness one of the most significant moments in the state's legal history. Transported from prison, former Telstra technician Bradley Robert Edwards arrived to learn his fate. The disappearances of Sarah Spears, Jane Rimmer and Kira Glennon in the 1990s prompted the most extensive murder investigation in Australia's history. Their families came to court with the hope today would mark the end of a long and painful chapter. Inside, Bradley Edwards barely glanced at the crowd and showed no emotion as Justice Stephen Hall delivered his verdicts, finding that Edwards willfully murdered 23-year-old Jane Rimmer and 27-year-old Kira Glennon. I am satisfied beyond reasonable doubt that the accused was the killer of Miss Rimmer and Miss Glennon. Finally, a conclusion for their families. It means that I can hopefully get on with the rest of my life without all this stuff. But not for the parents of Sarah Spears. Their daughter was the first woman to disappear in 1996. Her body has never been found. And the lack of any forensic link meant Justice Hall could not convict Edwards of her murder. The propensity evidence makes it more likely that the accused was the killer of Miss Spears, but it cannot prove it beyond reasonable doubt. The investigation into the murder of Sarah Spears remains open. We will never give up trying to locate Sarah, and I've conveyed that to Don and Carol Spears today. The public interest in this case can't be overstated. The disappearances of the three women from these streets rocked Perth in the 1990s. It changed the way people socialised and became one of the most talked about murder mysteries in the state's history. Today's verdicts will be felt across the community. Flowers were laid outside the hotel where two of the girls had been on the nights they disappeared. Bradley Edwards was transported back to his prison cell, a convicted murderer. He's due to be sentenced in December. Charlotte Hamlin, ABC News, Perth.